Hey everyone, Montage Manager here with a little tutorial for you guys. This tutorial is on how to reduce the size of MP3s but keeping the same audio quality so that way you have more space on your iPod. Now, for example, say you go out and buy an album and you put it on your computer and you look at the size and it's got like 13 to 14 songs but it's like 106 megabytes. You may be thinking, wow, okay, that's a lot, but if you're not the person who cares really, then I guess this tutorial isn't for you. But if you are, continue watching. Basically, it's it's like, oh, so much space in my iPod is taken up by 15 to 14 songs when I could when I could have more than that if the songs were only smaller in size. Basically, I'm going to show you how to do that today. And uh, the first program you're going to need, well, the only program you're going to need is Format Factory. This program can be uh, downloaded on the CNET uh, market for free and uh, you don't have to upgrade this is a completely free program and it works perfectly fine now uh, you can see what kind of program this is for converting like you can do video audio picture ROMs uh, DVDs and CDs and ISOs and then like advanced stuff but what we're gonna do is audio today so basically um, I've already got a certain album in mind of a band that I really like, so I'm going to go over to it. I'm going to go into the music, scroll down to Like Moths to Flames. Um, their album When We Don't Exist is the only one I have on here, but you see it's like 11 songs. You wouldn't think it's that much for 35 minutes of music. You go on to it and it's 83.1 <clears throat> 83 megabytes. It's not something that you really want, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this into Format Factory. Then what you're going to do is click OK, because it will already be on all to MP3, but if you want a different format, there's MP3, WMA, FLAC, AAC, MMF, AMR, M4A, M4R, OGG, MP2, WAV, and WavePack. So basically, we're just going to hit OK because it's already there. And you see down here, you can actually change the quality from like high and medium and low. And obviously, low will bring it down to like a kilobyte or something, or somewhere around there. But we're going to keep it at high quality, only reduce a little, uh, a little bit. So I'm just going to hit OK, and you see all of these are up here. Um, I'm going to organize them in line, and let's see. So the highest, highest amount song in here is number one, and it's the worst in me, so we're going to keep track of that. 9.8 megabytes. Uh, we're almost at 10 megabytes here, and that's that's unacceptable to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit OK, and this may sometimes happen. Well, happens to me a lot because my fucking thing is retarded. So MP3 and start. Then you see it's starting to convert. Right? Can't change the organization because I didn't before I hit start. Whatever, it's not a big deal. You don't need to do that anyway. You will then sometimes get problems like this. This amount has never happened to me before, but it's nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing to worry about. You see, alright, I'm saving it in this folder here, right? Um, let's see, which ones went through? Number 5, number 1, and number 3. So we're going to keep one, and then just get rid of these. Alright, hang on one second. It's in a process right now, so I can just try again. Whatever. Alright, skip. And I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of the ones that have already gone through. Like, five, one, three, and four. Those ones were the completed ones that actually went into success. Now, obviously, I'm showing you how to deal with a problem that may pop up from time to time. It'll either say failed or encoder exception. Alright, get rid of the ones that you don't need on there, like the ones that I already went through. And what I want you to do is double click on each one of these, and you see the problem, like the red text, is disappearing. This is what you want to happen. If this does not happen, I do not know how to fix your problem. Maybe just try to run through it again without the problem. Now, let's see if we can get rid of G and F here, because I can't get rid of G and F here. Okay, uh, whatever. Sit, start again, and see if this does it. Alright, now you see G and F before that had the problem. 
is now converting. And when you do convert it a second time and there's already a file in there, it will then come up with this file called GNF with a little squiggly line and then one. That's kind of like, you know, folder and then in parentheses it says one. So. Anyway, the first song was the highest, right? So what I'm going to do is going to go to properties and remember it was almost 10 gigabytes or er, megabytes. Reduce the size 3.89 megabytes. I do not know if this went through correctly. It did. All right, let me test it. All right, it did play. That is a good thing. Now you see, this problem happened again with Format Factory, so what I'm gonna do is get rid of these, and then repeat the process over again. It's somewhat tedious when this happens, but if you've got a better computer or a uh, newer software, then obviously it's gonna work better, but I have, um, I didn't update mine when it prompted me before my internet went out, so I'm an idiot, but it's coming back on tomorrow, so I don't have to worry there. I'm gonna hit start again. And all of these are going to work, hopefully. And you see, now they are starting to go through. Let's see, it's GNF2. Like, alright, that's good. And then, You Won't Be Missed is a good song. That went through. Right. Once again, get rid of the ones that worked. Double click on the ones that didn't. Start. It seems to be only doing two at a time for me, but I don't care. It's a tutorial. And, like, it gets something that I wanted done in the first place. So, it's almost done here. After this completes, what you are then going to do is close out Format Factory. And then the only problem is it doesn't transfer over the data, like the uh, the artist and the names and stuff like that. So you're going to have to do that all manually, but it's not a big deal. It's something very easy to deal with. So what I'm going to do right here is just really quickly do this. And the way you would do that, so that way, like doing the artist and the album is really quick, is just going to properties, details. And then going to contributing artist and type in the name like Moths to Flames. And the album would be When We Don't Exist. So, When We Don't Exist. <coughs> Sorry. Then click OK. And now you see it's moved from its original position down to here because like Moss the Flames goes after H and before Lincoln Park. Um, so basically, after this is done, you have to manually put it all in, which is what I'm going to do off camera. But anyway, that's basically how to reduce the size of uh, the album. And just to give you a, a, like a full like showing of how much it reduced, it was 80, gig like 80 megabytes before. I keep saying gigabytes. I don't know why. It is 33 megabytes now. Now you can have multiple albums on there without actually reducing the audio quality or the time on the song. Now, you may run into problems, and if you do, like, say, the music gets fucked up. Do it again, it'll be fine. If you run into problems, like, with the failed or encoder exception, once again, run through it again and be fine. Um, it's not it's not a thing you have to really hope to deal, uh, hope to not deal with. It'll usually just not have it. But because I have an older version, the newer version had probably fixed some of those problems that would actually have done that to me. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. And um, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.